All right, so in this problem, uh, we have a sheet of current uh, that's very long, kind of extending back into the page for a very long time. Uh, and we have a current that's flowing through that sheet in the negative z direction. So if this is x and this is y, the current is going back in the negative z direction, okay? Um, so it's flowing into the paper and we're trying to find the b field for this homework problem. We're trying to find the b field here, okay? Uh, so in this case, we have a very long sheet uh, and when we have a very long sheet, uh, as we said in the first part, uh, for part one, when this L gets very large, we can use this B field for a wire. Um, so we essentially are simplifying our equation and modeling our B field behavior as such. Uh, so our keyword is very long, and so we're going to use this guy. Okay, so we are modeling kind of our, our B field in this phi hat direction, rotating. Uh, so if you have a right hand rule, our B field is kind of, you know, rotating around uh, this sheet of current. Uh, looking a little bit different than that, but just kind of as a general idea for where it's going. Um, so what we need to do to solve this problem, we, we actually don't have a wire, but our equation is modeling a wire. So we have current across the sheet. So we actually have to model our current as this differential current. So we have this I over W, right? Because that gives us kind of like a little wire, a little piece of that sheet. Um, and then it's multiplied by our, our DX. So our dx is going from 0 to w, and so it will get larger and larger as we're going through part of that sheet, essentially. So it's a little weird, I know. Um, I don't like this problem all that much, but okay. Um, next, we need to find our r value here. So our r, uh, so we're starting at this point negative a, right? So we're over here. Um, so the distance to our wire, so first we have a, right, to the wire. And then we also have plus x, so some distance into this uh, sh this differential sheet, um, because we we're essentially accumulating all of these charged wires and kind of treating them as like a sum of of different dx's or like differential wires because we have a full sheet. So a plus x, and then we're going to integrate over x. Okay, um, so we plug in this this guy here. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and simplify our equation a little bit here, and then take the integral. So for x, we're going from 0 to w, right? Because x is kind of any point along this w line, OK? So integrating. Um, and then we plug in our bounds uh, and just kind of solve here, essentially. Um, please feel free to walk through this guy on your own. I kind of just put some general integral rules over here and some logarithmic rules for simplifying. Um, OK, and so this is our final result here, OK? Um, so the last thing that we need to do is to look at our b field direction so we model our b field as moving in the phi hat direction right so it is moving circularly around this charged sheet right um right hand rule so thumb in the direction of current and then our fingers curl around so we are at this point here right we're at this negative a comma zero and when we are looking for our vector direction for our b field at a point we need to understand how this point is experiencing the B field force. So if we're here, our B field is going to be acting in the positive Y direction. If we were here, our B field would be acting in the negative Y direction. Okay, so over here, positive Y. So we have our full solution here, and that's why we put positive Y right here for our final B field direction.